Tony Karsich is a legend in the history of New Jersey high school football. He's coached thousands of players throughout a nearly 40-year career. So I spent nine years at Bergen Catholic. I had a wonderful nine years, and uh, we had some success my final year. We were the number one team in New Jersey, number 10 in the nation. And I've been at St. Joe's now for the last 29 years as a teacher and coach. 17 state championships. Something to be proud of. A lot of young men have gone through here, made it all possible. Many of his players move on to top-ranked colleges and even the pros. But who was the best? Sports Enterprise reporter Matt Stanmeyer asked that question. Of all the people that he could have said, he said Gregory Telemac. And I said, who's Greg Telemac? So Tony gets real fired up and he tells me all these stories. He's this 6'4", 210-pound running back who could run a 4'6", He had never seen an athlete like him before. He had never seen anyone play the way he played. And it just sparked my interest. I said, who is this kid? You know, I, I got to learn more about him. Because if he's the best player Tony's ever coached, and he has coached a ton of great players, then this kid must be something really, really special. Uh, he was a tailback, extremely gifted just awesome vision and a real student of the game. I mean, he knew everyone's blocking assignment. He made cuts before you saw the opening because he anticipated what was going to happen. Uh, ended up going to Georgia Tech on a full scholarship, had multi-scholarship offers throughout the nation. Chose Georgia Tech primarily because of Bobby Ross uh, as the head coach. But this is where the story takes a turn. Greg was sick suffering from a mental illness. He feel like something hold on to his legs, he can do it. And it's after that he told me he, he's hearing voices telling him. He said he always feels the voices talking to him. But he didn't tell anybody. He thought it was normal. Greg left Georgia Tech during his second year. A psychiatrist and psychologist would conclude that he suffered from schizophrenia. It was about one year later when Greg attacked and injured his younger brother, David. He was incarcerated and eventually placed for treatment in a psychiatric center. This is the problem with me mental illness. illness. You, know, you don't know what they're feeling, what they're going through. From the outside, you see this kid at 6'3 and 230 pounds and is, can run, and you're thinking, wow, the sky's the limit, you know, and it would have been. The mental capabilities were not there with the physical capabilities, and consequently, he never had the opportunity. More than 20 years have passed since those football days. Today, Greg is about to get a visit from Coach Karsich, his second in two weeks. We're on our way to visit Greg Telemac at the Bronx Psychiatric Center. I'm mean, really happy to see him again. Um, I got his 1990 highlight tape. I had given him his 1989 highlight tape, and now I got this one, so I know he's going to be uh, excited about seeing this. Oh, look at you with that St. Joe's sweatshirt on. Look at it. It, it does fit, huh? It does fit. I lost weight, though. Huh? I lost 12 pounds. Since I saw you? Yeah, 12 pounds. You lost 12 pounds? I lost off. Are you serious? I worked hard. What made you lose the weight? I I've been working out. I love him very much. He's a great person. He's a father figure to me. And I really appreciate his help. Helped me out a lot. <laughs> you don't know how much he helped me out, folks. Yeah, I guess I don't. <laughs> you do. You helped me out so much. I love, I love your smile, too. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I love your smile. <laughs> okay. I love you, man. That was one thing I really enjoyed, playing football. I really enjoyed playing football. That's why it counteracted my, my mental illness. So my mental illness was like pushed aside while I was playing football. And I was able to do things that made me not want to think about my mental illness. So it was best, the best thing that ever happened to me was football. It's hard to predict Greg's future. He's now 41 years old and has been under state care for more than 19 years. For his mom, well, she still believes that he will be released to re-enter the world and have a chance at a new beginning. So that's what I'm reaching for, to see if he can get better, go to school, and be nice, you know. Have a woman, have his own life, better life, like we all have. I really want to get my life back to normal again. I, I, I feel that I had, enough, I had enough time in the hospitals, you know. I really want to get my chance to go back outside and do my thing, you know. 
As for Coach Karsich, he hopes that reconnecting with Greg will offer inspiration that will help him in some way. His whole motivation now is to try to get out of here and uh, he really wants to help other people who have similar illness that he has and uh, I think that gives him now a purpose of, of to, to move on with his life and uh, today, was, today was an uplifting day I think in general. So I'm, glad, I'm very glad we came and uh, I hope I can't wait to see him again.